Take my glasses off. That might scare you. Look at how close I am. We got a new uh, little thing on my cell phone, and I'm doing it on my iPhone today. Let's see how much better you can see my face, but it looks like... <laughs> Bear with me. Something new. Anyway, let's start out. I'm going to start out with my skin cream. Skin primer. Can you see it? This is Touch Glorious Face Primer. Which I love. I already washed my face and moisturized and done all that. And let's get this part on. I was trying to do all this stuff yesterday. Oh my gosh. Always takes hours to learn something new. I've opened up this new business page with Facebook, which I think I'm going to like. Okay, let's put that up off of there. Can you see? I just feel like we need more light. How come I felt like I had better light? Now I'm going to take my foundation. This is our Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in the Casmere color. And, uh, of course, like I've showed you, I'm going to use my one brush. You might be able to see things better with the phone like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now, some people take their concealer and also add that to the mix, but I don't know. I, I, I think you use less if you do the other way. Okay, let's put some on. I got this new little light thing on my cell phone, and it's really cool. It lights all up. Another new little toy. And then I've got this set up on my... You probably wonder how we do this. And I have this set up on my tripod. And I'm sitting in here. In my office. My inner sanctum I call this. I love my room. This is my sewing room. My computer room. And now kind of my makeup room. I like to get underneath those eyes. How we look? I don't know. I'm still trying things out and seeing what I like. Bear with me. Deborah Lee. New things. Okay, now I'm using the... This is the concealer. Right here. Let's see if you can see that. That's what that looks like. And I'm going to just put that on that little blemish that I have. That liver spot. I love this foundation. I mean, I hardly need to add any concealer. How it covers stuff. Then I have this one over here. That I'm going to work on. Okay, we've done our foundation, we've done our um, concealer. Now let's try. I like to use a little powder to kind of set it all. And the colors that I like are still until I get them all used up is my bare mineral. Fair to light and the tan is what I use. I'll probably move on over to Unique once I get these used up. But, you know, when you pay a lot of money for something, you don't want to just throw it in the trash. And with that brush, I like the angled brush. Let me show you what that looks like. This is it, angled. And I take it and I just put some on there. And then I go down here like this. And 
there we go. I want to order me some of that bronzer that we have with Unique because I'm noticing a lot of people are using that for their contouring. So that'll take care of that. And then let's use the lighter powder to highlight. This is what I'm using, this kind of color right here. It's not a unique product. This one's Fair to Light, Bare Minerals. If you, Maybe you've already got that. I don't know. I'm starting, it's almost getting, you know, down there. It's getting real, got little holes like in it or something. There we go. Yeah, put a little bit right here. And then I like to put that on my eyes like that and go underneath. How you like that? I still like, you know, when I look at the mirror, I don't see that so badly. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some of that concealer. And I'm going to work on those rings or bags or whatever you want to call it. Let's try a little bit of that. And see if we can make that look a little bit better. Okay, I can look at this. Although, I like a lighter color in here. But this is more natural. Doesn't make you look like you're a raccoon. And that's probably what I was looking like before. When I used to use the white, it was like almost a white. Uh, some people say uh, tea bags are good for those, I guess you call them bags, under the eye. I think that's old ladies. Well, maybe other people have it. Okay, next, let's, um, what do we want to do next? Let me put the eye primer on. And this is our eye primer. You can see it. So I slept in, you know, well, I didn't go to bed the night before until probably three, four o'clock. I'm a night owl. I seem to be more focused at night. I think that's quite normal for a lot of ladies. Okay, we've got that on. Can you see anything? Got our primers on our face and we've got our makeup on, our foundation, and now we've got that on our eyes. And so, let's work on the eyes then. Let me just add a little more uh, powder to that. Now, a lot of people say they use our, um, this is our setting spray. It's called the uh, Touch Behold Setting Spray. And they say that they take and use their sponge, spray a little bit of this on their sponge, And then they'll put that on there to kind of like set that in. We'll try that. I'm going to try that. It feels good. It's cool. It's like cold. It feels really nice. Makes you want to keep on using it until it's all gone. Oh, I'm already feeling like I've woke up. This feels good. Let me put some up in here. Yeah. Um, I want to try to put some eye makeup on. What color shall we do today? I guess with the color I've got on, I think I have a green here. And I think that's with one of my new eyeshadows. Our eyeshadow palette going to come out September the 1st. 
Oh, this one doesn't have the green. This has got these colors, but I do have a green. Let me see if I can locate that one. I think I left it in my bag. This is our presenter bag or kit. I don't know if you can see that. $99 if you want to sign up with a kit or save money buy the kit. You don't have to then continue on with the business if you don't want to. That's all up to you. That's kind of what I thought I was going to do until I thought, oh, this might be fun. Let me try this. Okay, let's try this color. This is called Inconceivable. And what's nice is they give you these little uh, stick-on things to put on here so you remember what the name is. And let's use, I'm getting where I really like this brush. The two brushes, the deluxe brush. See how nice and soft it is? Oh, got some product on there. Got to get that off. I'll just take it and rub it on my hand like this. And normally, if it's not showing on my hand, it's not going to show on my eyes. So let's try a little bit of this color. Let's see if I can do this on here. I think I'm going to have to go, go back over here, guys. And I'll try to bring this up here so it won't bother you. Okay, can you see? Need a little more product. got a little bit of a droopy eye going on I think it's with age so I try to bring it up a little higher and I'm always using my finger I don't know if y'all use yours or not let's try it on this side hi Say hey to me. I can't tell who you are. Because I'm on my iPhone today. I'm trying it out. Be great if you'd give me feedback and if you'd let me know if you like it better this way. Or if you like it better when I do it on the computer. Okay. Then I want to wipe some of that. Then I have a paper towel down here that I just take my brush and I wipe it on. Yeah, this color looks good with my shirt. Kind of blending it in now. Sorry if I got my camera and my uh, mirror in front of you there. Need to be thoughtful of what you guys can see. Now I'm taking the blending brush this is our unique blending brush, and I'm liking it. It's nice, and I like a brush that's like this, that's fluffy. And then it's soft, and it's really good about taking that powder and blending it around. And you want it to be a soft look. I'm not going out for nighttime. So... Okay, I might still soften that some more, but let's go ahead and use another color for inside the eyelid, and that color is going to be off of my new palette. I think I'll use this first one. That first one is called Timid, right here, Timid. Yeah, that's better. Uh huh. And we'll do that side. A little more product. Let me let you look at that. And right now, you can see I have no eyelashes. And I'm going to have to start using. We have this new product I've got. And I haven't been using it on a regular basis. Let me show you. 
it is our that's our epic and this one is our serum and uh, as I understand you use this every day or every night before you go to bed and it's gonna help my lashes grow so I need to take that into my other area so I don't forget to put that on at night time and then I'll give you a testimony after about a week or so and let you know if it really works or not. Okay, we like that. Sorry. This one is the Unique Mood Struck Precision Pencil Eyeliner. Let's see if you can see that. And I'll let you know if we like this. And this is what it looks like. So, oh gosh. Shall I try it up here? Let's try it over here. <laughs> oh, that's kind of nice. It's soft and smooth. But now this one, I think we have to actually... Um, we have to sharpen this one, which I did get the sharpener. But you probably already have a sharpener. This will give me the look that I've got some eyelashes on the bottom because I really can't build them up too much. There we go. Now, it's looking like it's a little bit too much. Um, I'll often take a little brush and I'll try to um, soften that. And I probably shouldn't use my tongue, but that's kind of what I do. Okay. How do you like that? We'll work on that a little bit more. I can see we need some eyelashes. And so let's go to my trusty addiction palette number one. This is it right here with all the colors. All the browns. This is these colors are good for anybody's skin uh, tone, and I like the angled brush like this. And I like to go. I go with forthright. Boy, yesterday or what day was it? I had contacts on. I couldn't. I couldn't read that any more than the man in the moon. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah. This might be too dark. But we can take the other side then and brush it. Oh yeah, that's better. I mean, it actually gives me some life. I think I like the chipper color better than the forthright. So I'm going to wipe that off my brush here. Excuse me. I'm going to use the chipper. I don't need something quite so dark, I think. So I'm going to use the chipper for my eyebrow. This time I'm going to try to put it on here with the phone. There we go. That's much better. See, it frames your eyes, and now, let me see. See, I, I need more light. Oops, got to turn that around. Yeah, that's better. I like that. And I'm going to take some of this elated, the first color right here. And I'm going to put that up here next to the brow bone. Wiping that other product off my hand. Making sure it's gone. And let's try this. Kind of highlights. 
I like that. Now we'll take our blending brush and try to blend that all in. Get my other mirror out. Don't want that to look too stark. It's daylight. Nice. Okay, there we go. How's that looking? Now, let's put on my favorite thing. The 3D mascara. Using first our primer. This is it right here. 3D mascara. I was online today and I was looking and I was seeing where these people go in and they perm their eyelashes or something. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. So let's put some of this on. It's already helping my no eyelash. I have a no eyelash syndrome. <laughs> uh oh, can't smile, can't laugh and do this at the same time. Gets all on my face. Got some right here too. Okay, can you see a little bit of difference? And let me try this down here. I see them go like this. I haven't quite figured that out. Gonna add a little bit more. Okay. Andrea, this is my new uh, venture. It's unique products if you've never heard about it. And uh, this is my new um, business, Facebook business page. I saw your son had a big sign up out on the highway. Looks like he's doing really well. He has a little antique business. Good for him. I'm doing just the one eye here first to let you see how these lashes work. And I can really get something out of this. It's just amazing. Look at how much different it looks already. Can you see? Let me do my other part, which is the 3D part, which is the fibers. The uh, 3D fibers, this is what the fiber, uh, it's called 3D fiber lashes, and it's mood struck is what they call it. And it's on a wand like this, and there's what it looks like. You don't see them all flying, but once you start putting it on, you can see it. And I try not to go too close to the base of the eyelid because you don't want those fibers in your eyes. Now I did see a technique where you do the color here and over here and, and in the middle it's different. And I think that's more of a night look. Uh -huh. We like that. Can you see now? Hope you can see a difference. I can. Yes, much different. And let me try a little bit down here. Because, but they say not to let that dry, the first step dry, because that lets the uh, fibers adhere better. A lot of people go like this. I can't get used to that. Where they blink into the wand. Much better. Much better. 
Did I scare you when I'm so, so close? Oh my gosh. But I want you to be able to see what's going on. So it's trial and error. Much different. Looks good. Let's do this other side. Don't want that one to be left out. Now these are, they, you know, it's kind of expensive, but uh, I'm still on the first bottle. I've been doing this, what now, at least a month. It was August that I was in Indiana visiting my uh, nephew's diner that he has there, WD's Diner, Vincennes, Indiana. Whoop, whoop. And uh, his girlfriend, I don't know how we got that she was selling this. I said, well, yeah, bring it down here. I'll look at your products. I didn't, she didn't even sell me on this 3D mascara stuff. I was looking at the foundation. And so I did some samples. She had some little samples of her foundation. So I, I ordered something. And then I think it was after I got home, I thought, oh, I could get this kit for $99, get like $300 and some odd dollars worth of product. Why don't I do that? You know, and uh, you can just get a kit and not do anything else with it just to get the bargain. And then you have like, I think it's three months that you could decide if you do want to do something with it, you can. And if you don't, you don't have to. How do you like that? So, anyway, I was telling you yesterday, I was trying to get online to do a video. Oh my gosh, it was 8 o'clock by the time I saw all that. And I'm thinking, it's too late now. Uh-oh, now see, there went a nice clump. So, let me show you what that looks like. You see what that is? That's the fiber stuff. So I'm going to just go back down into the tube here and twist it around, come back up, and then I'm going to take and pat it on my hand. Can you see what I'm doing here? Like that, coming back over to add. Uh oh, I did it again. I'm going to take that little piece off. Now I'm going to um, put a little liner up here. They tell you to then seal it with your first tube, which is the primer-like stuff. This is the first one. And seal all those. I like how that all separates too. Isn't that nice? Can you see? I'm going to see if you can see. And we'll do that. Okay. How you like that now? It's looking a little heavy up on the top, but when I look at the mirror, it's not looking bad. I don't know if it looks scary to you guys or not. I need. I think I need to add. Um, I was going to diction palette. I'm gonna go with one of my dark shades to give me a little bit of a liner. I want to use my angled brush, which I use just my um, eyebrow brush. And I'll go with the darker, the forthright this time. We have a zealous and a forthright. Let me see if you can see it. This is a nice little compact. Comes with the mirror. And it's magnetized when it closes. And so what I want to do now is try not to scare you when I come up close. <laughs> and let's go like this. And go right to the base. Am I 
I let me see what I'm doing. Without covering it up with the mirror, I'm probably covering it up half the time. This one presenter online, I love watching her. She does this uh, car minute. And she's in line waiting for her kids to get out of school. And she does these little videos. And she carries her lighted mirror with her in the car. It's a hoot. There we go. See, now that looks a little bit better. Okay. We'll go down here a little bit with that. Maybe I'll go a little lighter in the color down here with the chipper I used for the eyebrow. And we'll go over here. I do like to use a brush that is... Um, more flat, short, and not so big around. <laughs> Let's do a song and dance. I'm going to try this one. This is in my little arsenal of brushes. Blend that out a little bit better. Okay. That's not bad. And then we'll add some blush. Kind of like the finishing touch. And I'm really loving this. Our minerals blush here. And that a pretty color. Look at how pretty that is. And here we go. I'm just going to put it on here like this first. Kind of pat it on and then I'm going to blend it in. Kind of blend it in with everything. Go down the nose. I like to go up here. I like to go down here. Okay, we're getting close to done, folks. Try to blend this a little bit better at that so it's not quite so stark. Yeah, like I said, this is the first time I used the pencil. I've been using just the, uh, it's got a really fine point, and that's this one right here. So I haven't, just, I mean, you don't have to be stuck using just one kind of product all the time. Okay, let's finish off with some lipstick, and I'm loving these too, these uh, Splash lipsticks. And look at her. I love her. It's so cute. It's all written out of there. Can you see what that looks like? I don't know. It's kind of hard for you. And I'm going to use this color. I think it's called Sentimental. It doesn't take much. I take most of it off the little applicator. I'm going to have to put this up here. I made a boo-boo. This is a mat. I'm kind of liking these mats. And I'm, I'm sure you could also use your uh, lip brush here. This other side. And it's kind of like powdery. This is what this looks like. Look back. And I'm going to take a little bit of this gloss. Loving these too. Comes with a little mirror right on here. Lucrative lip gloss is what it's called. This color is called Lovable. It's pretty pink. Let's see what it looks like on. I don't think it's going to be that pink when you put it on. I'm going to add it to my bottom lip. I do like to do it like that. And leave it like that. 
How do we like it? Kind of need to go up over here. Oh, I didn't exfoliate my lips. That's another one of the products I've never used before, and I'm loving it as well. Let me just show it to you. It's our exfoliator, and it's uh, in a tube, and it looks like this, lip exfoliator. Comes like this, and it's made out of a, uh, it has sugar granules, I think, in there that does the exfoliating. And then it has like a shea butter or something that makes it be moisturized. And oh yeah, I really love it. Are you happy with me? <laughs> you all have a great day. Glad you stopped in. Check on my uh, little shop button if you want to look around. Uh, if you're interested in a virtual party, what's nice about it is you don't have to deal with any of the money. All they do is place the orders they're uh, delivered directly to them by the, you know, U.S. Post Office. And uh, all you do is just have the party, and then that's all you have to do and invite your friends. So, again, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.